Trust me, I've been asked like a million times how to make Alex Hormozy captions. And I will actually show you how to make the whole short. So we will basically copy Alex Hormozy and we will do it only in around four minutes. So let's begin. So these shorts have a few components. The first one is of course the main video, then we have captions, emojis, and then music. So if I open up DaVinci, here I have my video in the media pool. I'm going to go into the edit section. I'm gonna just pull it to the track, just like this. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom right corner and click this button called Use Vertical Resolution. This video was filmed in 24 FPS and it was filmed in 4K. So we're gonna just click this and we're gonna go Ultra HD. It's still going to keep the ver vertical resolution, but of course these settings are personal depending on what you filmed. Then we're gonna click Save and we have me talking into the camera. So what you're going to do now is just cut up the silent spaces And we have this now. You can go around and mess with the color grading and all that, but now let's go to actually caption. To add captions is actually pretty easy. We can go in the text and we can search here text plus. Then we can just pull it above our video and then you just need to split the text depending on how big you want your text to be. Usually the smaller the better because you can make bigger text and therefore the captions are going to be more visible. But I'll show you an easier way. So to avoid having to copy attribute or like the effect, get one piece of text. Let's say I said, I love editing videos. We're going to change the font to the bold font. That's the font he uses. It's free. You can go on a bar and I'll actually show you. Open a new tab and go the bold font. And you can download it here, the bold font on the font site. First of all, we're going to change the line spacing so the text is actually pretty close since he usually has two rows of text. Then we're going to increase the size. We're going to click on these buttons so we can actually move the text. And usually it's best to have it under your head. I forgot to mention the first step, of course, is to actually adjust your video. I like my video as it is right now. I can place myself in the middle if I want to just doing this. So let's copy him for the sake of the tutorial. So now that we place the text how we like to, we need to go to the shading tab and go select element number two and then enable it. Go ahead and select black color and just add the thickness to the maximum. Go to the third tab, enable it, make sure that the color is black, increase the softness of the X and the Y, and then go to the fifth tab, enable it, and also select the black color and increase the softness of the X and the Y as well. Now we have something like this. To finish the captions, what we need to do is actually color the text. And this is how you will do it. So when you come into this text tab, you can right click on your text and click character level styling. So what we can do now is first of all, place our playhead on the text, then go to the fusion page. And now we can just select for an example, the word videos for example. There is a rule. When you color the text, you want to place red on something negative, green on something positive, and yellow on something neutral. For an example, videos would be neutral. So basically just click on the modifier tab. If you don't click the character level styling option, you won't have this tab available. Now you can just select your text like this and go to color, select the yellow and click OK. We can also do, for an example, love. Love is positive, so we're going to go and add green to this one. So just like this. But now something is missing, and that is emojis. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Safari, and we're going to go on the site called Emojipedia. Here you can find all the emojis. An example, I mentioned, I think, videos here. Yeah, videos. So what we're going to do is video. Just write video, and now we have a few emojis. Video camera seems like a pretty good emoji to add it. So you can either copy it or just download it by clicking right click. So here you can actually copy it. You can also download it from Safari, which I think is a better option. So video camera, iOS, PNG, download. So this is it. We just click save image to downloads, import it to the media pool and basically just place it. Reduce the size and he usually places it under his text. So something like this, actually really simple. So the only thing left now is to just add the transition to this camera. So I've noticed that he likes using the push transition. So we're going to go into video transitions, push, and basically just pull this motion blur to like 0 0.6. And also make sure that it's short. So it's in this video, I will show you just how like this. 
literally looks exactly the same. Now, the last thing is actually to add music. And you don't have to be going on YouTube and wasting your time with downloading songs and going through these ads. You can actually just go on Pixabay, which works really great because you have you can play your songs here. Basically, just go basically just go on Safari and write Pixabay inspiring background music or motivational music. And you have these songs here. You can preview with them by clicking the playhead here. For example, I like this energizante motivation. I just click download and you don't have to go through a lot of BS, basically it just downloads right away. My internet connection is suffering at the moment, so we're just gonna cancel it. And you just place the song under the audio track, so just like this. Don't forget to actually turn the volume down to around 30 decibels to 35. You can go with 30, I think that's a good number, and that's pretty much it. You will just basically repeat the process for the whole thing. You can actually copy this text now and you can actually use it here. You will just go like this, just like placing it here or basically just paste it and then just make sure that this magnet is turned on cut it then go to here cut it and go to for an example to here cut and that's it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions write them down below and i'll see you in the next one